Well, hello there and welcome folks to yet another episode of 162 Times, your daily baseball recap and preview show. I'm your host, Daniel Turner. It's great to be with you. Uh, recording for the first time from Aracera, Aracera, Portugal. It's a town about 45 minutes northwest of Lisbon, a surf town. Uh, we've been staying here for a couple of days, the last few days of this vacation that I've been on. It's been a lovely time celebrating one of my friend's 30th birthdays, a bunch of other really cool people. I haven't had a whole lot of time to focus on baseball or the show, but that doesn't mean that there hasn't been a whole heap going on in baseball land. Uh, we will have way more on this for you tomorrow when we have a charged up laptop and time to talk. But the Mariners fired 11-year veteran manager Scott Service yesterday and replaced him in one fell swoop with former M's catcher Dan Wilson. Um, so that's going to deserve a little bit more attention than we're going to be able to give it tonight. But nonetheless, that is still pretty cool. And uh, it, interesting, right? Like, I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. Scott was a great manager. The team wasn't necessarily performing up to the way that it should have. But Guy managed the Seattle Mariners for more than 10 years and finished with a plus 500 record. So good for him. Um, last night, the Mariners were back home finally, thank God, because they're an abysmal road team, and they had the San Francisco Giants in town. So it was um, Luis Castillo facing off against a guy named Hunter Birdsong. Yes, that's correct, Birdsong, and Birdsong was making his first career start. I don't have all the statistics in front of me, but basically, home run by Lamont Wade, Michael Conforto, made it a 5-1 Giants lead in the eighth inning. Uh, Castillo was pitching okay, but he did get tagged for a few runs. Luke Rayleigh had a solo shot. That was the one run the Mariners had. Then in the eighth inning, they sent nine men to the plate. They had four straight RBI singles. They tied the game. And then in extra innings, Leo Rivas, shortstop, singled home Dylan Moore, who was the ghost runner. And uh, they won the game 6-5. to five. So they made a winner out of Dan Wilson in his first game, uh, including a multi-hit inning, <laughs> a multi-run inning, which is extremely rare for your Seattle Mariners. So that was a good news story. In the preview part of the game, we've got a terrific pitching matchup that has probably just ended, but it was Blake Snell against uh, George Kirby in, uh, in game two of that series. So we'll bring you the recap of that tomorrow. Um, and then elsewhere in the majors um, on Saturday night. It does keep recording if I go to another app. Okay, cool. So elsewhere in the majors on uh